What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I want to address the mount plate that I have for my shifter boot. When I installed this T5 transmission, uh, I needed actually I needed help to put these screws in. I was drilling the holes, I was having problems where it was getting caught on the carpet and snagging up the carpet, and then I couldn't, you know, once I drilled the hole, I couldn't find where, the, where it was. I was trying to put the screw in, and I actually had to have somebody help me out and hold everything in place, and I had to have them hold that while I drilled the hole, then put the screw in. It just it was a lot of work. And what I wanted to do was have a kind of a, a mount plate that this would mount to, not to the tunnel itself, so that if I remove this, the screws would go right back to where they're supposed to, and I wouldn't have to worry about this location. So I went online and I tried to find something, and this is what I found. This this is a Scott Drake, uh, it's for an automatic shifter, but it's got what I'm looking for. See, so it's got these four mount holes that I could screw to the, the, the transmission tunnel. And then those smaller holes would be, you know, for these fasteners. But there's no dimensions of this plate. And online, this actually looks kind of bigger than it really is. In fact, if you set it up next to it, you can see that this, this plate itself is smaller than the, than the footprint of my Hurst shifter boot. Now, this is an aftermarket boot. If Maybe if I had the factory Ford boot that this might fit. I'm sure it would fit then, but that's not what I have in this setup. And also, the carpet was cut out larger uh, than the factory boot size, so I had to go to a larger boot like this. So what I want to do is I'm going to make my own bracket. I figured I could just kind of copy this design where they've got these holes and make something myself. So let's take this off and, uh, and see what we got to work with. You can kind of see here on the, the carpet where the trim ring was depressing the carpet. So I didn't have much. It was right on the edge here. So what I want to do is I'm going to make a bracket that's going to screw into the sheet metal here uh, on the side of the tunnel. And then it'll have holes for, you know, for this, this spot here. Let's head over to the bench and see what kind of materials we can work with. So here's a better look at the, the trim ring. <laughs> Not even close. So what I've got is a piece of, a, of aluminum here, and the nice thing is it's got this little protective coating on here, so when I can trace everything I need to do, cut it all out, and then rip this off, and then I've got a nice clean piece of, of aluminum. And it's, I believe this is 11 gauge, or about an eighth of an inch thick. And the reason why I want something like this is because I need something for the threads to, to bite into when I put this trim ring on here. And so what I'm thinking is, yeah, see, look, this is, I can round off those corners, but I got some, this thing's going to be wide enough for, for that. And then I'm just going to cut it probably about five inches here. And, uh, and then I can cut the center out that's kind of like this. And then I'll have a place to drill, you know, these holes here to mount it to the, to the, the uh, transmission tunnel. And then I'll drill those holes, uh, which would be for these, so that I could secure this. That. So this, what's going to happen is this plate will be mounted in the car. And it will give me a spot that I can mount this trim ring to, and I know that it'll just it'll just screw right in. I don't have to worry about. I mean, you can even see how that's kind of hard to tell, but this is kind of deformed because I was pushing down so hard to try to get these these screws to bite in there, and it was deforming this trim ring. So if I had a plate in the car where this was kind of a fixed location, I know that I could just screw it down, and it'd be good every single time. Uh, so that's what we're gonna make.
So this piece is a little rough, that's all right. It's not, I mean, it's gonna be completely hidden by this trim ring in the boot, so you won't ever see it, so it's not a problem. So now that we've got those tapped, I've got some holes for these fasteners to secure into the car. Now we need to go drill a hole in the car for these to, to bite into. So I'll use this as a template. I'll go in there and I'll take my Sharpie and I'll just drill a hole and, uh, and this will be good to go. Then we can mount this in the car. So I use this as a template to drill the holes in the sheet metal below and now, uh, so this all lines up and this is going to go on here, we can, what we can do is we can peel this off, this plastic off. So now that it looks like this, and what we can do is we can go ahead and put in, you know, these screws that we have for, for mounting this down and get this ready to accept the new, uh, the new shifter boot. All right, I probably should mention that I made the holes in this plate for these fasteners just a little bit larger than what they need to be so that I can move this plate a little bit because you know when you're transferring the holes from here to the shima below, you might not drill in the perfect spot. So this way this gives me, you know, I don't know, an eighth of an inch of movement on this bracket. Okay, so now that this is in place, the nice thing is that those holes for the boot are gonna be in that spot every single time. And so ideally, uh, when I put that boot on, it should just line up. Also, this, this trim ring isn't really that pretty. You know, I've got some extra grind marks up here and stuff where I was cutting it out and yeah, it's all right. You're not going to see it, so it's it's going to be fine. Let's put that boot on. All right, and the last screw's in. Man, that looks a lot better. I mean, well, <laughs> it looks the same, but I just know that if I ever need to get in here and do anything inside this boot, I can put that back together myself and uh, it works perfectly. Oh, we gotta put the, gotta put the shifter ball on there. This is uh, one of my favorite parts about this, this transmission is having that, that extra forward gear. Yay. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, that's how you make a, a custom trim ring for mounting your shifter boot uh, if you don't have something like the factory shifter boot. I'm sure, you know, maybe Hearst makes something like this. I couldn't find anything online. Then I thought, you know what, for $5 in that aluminum piece that I bought, which I'd only used, you know, part of it, so I have another piece left. I can make another one if I need to. You know, you guys could do this yourself. And, uh, you know, I didn't show me cutting out the, the center section because I just used a grinder. It's just a grinder wheel and it wasn't anything exciting. But, um, yeah, so you guys could do this yourself. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.